Look, it's the bot lab. Everyone loves the bot lab. Today we're building row what whoa 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 intro. Yes, so today we're building Whoa What. It looks like this. It was built by Adam Clark, and uh, it it lost to, uh, I think, Ramsey, and I uh, don't quite know how it managed to do that one. It's a cool-looking robot, and it's something that Robot Reader 2 would hate. It would havoc like crazy, but I'm going to make one anyway, because I saw it, and I was like, that looks like a challenge, and I was like, yeah, challenge me. So, yeah, I'm going to build that. Um... I did have it up on the other screen, but I have appeared to have loaded up all of my Robo Arena 2 stuff. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Got a picture of WoWat right there. It's tiny, but it's there. Looking at the chassis, apart from the wedge at the front, it does it does that, and then it does that, then goes up, and then I'm guessing it does this. That looks too small to me, but it was a small body big claw sort of thing. Well, we're going to go with that and see what happens. So, it was the smallest it could possibly be. Was it wedged? No. So, it just looked like that. That looks wrong to me. Might have to BFE the chassis size. I've not bought file edited the, sh the chassis height before. That would be fun. Yeah, let's do it. First time for everything. Right, so we're going to just do that straight away. So, I'm going to save this already as whoa what? Whoa what? Uh, preview and let's make the chassis smaller using BFE. I've not done this. This will be a tutorial as well. Hey, hey, here we go. Wait, no, hang on. I need to export it. Export whoa, what? Quit out of the game. Go to my thing. Change over my view. There we go. It's, uh, it's a castle basement. Yeah, I don't know why either. Let's see if we can find out how to BFE chassis height. Desired new chassis height. But what will it be? What should it be? Tell me, Click Beetle. It'll possibly take some experimentation, but 0 0.25 is a good height to start at. Okay, we'll go 0 0.25. Replace all. Wham it nut. Right. Okay. That should have been it. Let's see if that breaks the game. I'm assuming it will. If not, we'll just do something else and make whoa what that way. I'll put like a box somewhere and make it an extender bot. But I'd like to make a chassis one if I could do BFEing. Hang on, let me just let me just do the cool transition. Woof. There we go. Oh, the game's not died. Uh, you can scrap that one and import that one. It's not crashed yet. Oh yeah, I did it right. <laughs> uh, I've lost my picture of whoa what again. Okay, so back to building it. It's it's got a uh, we, we, let's do the paint job so we know where we're at. So with decals are gonna instantly just. Uh... Okay, there's a lot of beeping going on outside. Give me a moment. I need to see if something's going on in my car. Did you hear that? That was my chair. Alright, so, um, where was I? Yes, looking for warning stripes. Those will do. Can we rotate and shrink? There we go. Time to put these on the robot, on the WoWop. That's why it's called WoWop, you know? Adam Clark's young son said WoWop instead of robot, and it was really cute, and he stuck with it. The more you know... Uh, now we need to surface, do that around the edges, why not, that'll look alright, and that on the bottom. Cool, we got simple basic, so we know where we're going with it, we know which way is the front and the top. I think first up, make the weapon, because holy crap, right, <laughs> um, how the heck am I going to do that? The whole thing moves in three sections, but I'm not going to do that, because that'll just havoc everything, and I don't think there's a burst motor strong enough, so, the bottom part of it, will be um, static to the chassis. So that probably, we're, gonna, we're just gonna start it in the middle. We're gonna put a extender anchor about there. 
No. There. No. There. Yes. Right. Um, we can put that there. Cool. Right. And it looks like a bunch of crap. But it's obviously not crap, but you know what I mean. I just need to make a load of cool looking things. We're going to go titanium, maybe, uh, for this bit. So it's heavier towards the chassis, so it keeps it on the floor. Because I imagine it will tip over, knowing we've got Wiener 2's physics. And we're, get, we're just going to go straight up 100. It's a good number. And we're going to lean it forward at that angle. So what was that angle? We're going to go for a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degree angle. Yeah, that works. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do that. Now it's a box, isn't it? It's a box sort of uh, chassis. So we're going to build that up there. That up there. Oh, no, I did not want red. Excuse me. I need my metal back. I need my metal. There we go. Did 100 centimeters. So we're going to do that again. Pop that there pop that there. Okay, so we, we, we kind of got it going on right now. Um, put a little bit more extenders there. Well, what is the original extender bot? Put like these there and there. Right, okay, so now we have the, the main part of the arm. So if we go test, we're whoa what in and it's, mo it's moving. So, um, right. Heck want this part of the arm to move. This is going to be the actual, like, moving part of the arm. So we're going to go for a strong, bursty boy. Uh, I'm going to go with a medium one. Where can I put this in there? I imagine... some. I want somewhere like that. I've got it... Oh, that looks good already. What if I do this and that? Oh, I like it. So that will be able to move the other parts of the extender. I just wish I'd have it a little bit further up. What well, needs to be strong, doesn't it? So we'll put a wide one on there. What if I can, because I've got component freedom, I can put things like that in there, yeah. So we'll do that with the uh, with the medium one. There we go, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So now we can build the rest of it. We're going to do this bit out of, yeah, sod it. It's all going to be out of titanium. We're going to wheelie big cheese this. Uh, so, so we're going to go from the middle again. change that and how did I do it before so it was like this wasn't it I'm gonna go for this time I think 60 is good before the claw uh, we go uh, 80 like that so we'll put that on there like that we'll put that on there like that and uh, another 10 there and there. Put that there to support another burst motor, maybe. Another 80. Can go there. Like that. Okay, so we've got like a, a movable part of the arm now. It's gonna look better when I've like made it look better. And then we now we need the claw. So we're gonna move that down to where it's gonna start off. And the claw the claw. Um wow, I am annoying, aren't I? We're going to go for a small burst, so there's not a lot of weight on the end. And uh, likewise, we'll, we'll mount it how we did the other burst motor. So we'll put it in the chassis. Ah, it's a bit far back, isn't it, really, for the claw. Actually, on the robot, I've just noticed, the burst motor is mounted a la top. So we'll do something very similar with our burst motor. We'll put a few more of these brackets in. So we have a bit more options for attachment. And we'll go for another one of these, upside down, like that. Now, I would say to do that, but that looks too far forward and that looks too far back. So, I'm uh, going to just give myself a few more options. A la piche. And we're going to go for burst motor. That looks perfect to me. I like the look of that. That wobbled nicely. This is going to havoc like fuck. This is going to havoc like anything. I, I I know. I said fuck. I'm not scared of it. You know, if you're a kiddo watching this, get off the internet. If you're scared of the fuck word, you know, 
What are you doing? So how does this work? So the bottom part of it is actually static. Okay. So we're going to produce a static claw. Like a this. Adam Clark was a really good engineer if he managed to build this. And we're going to add weapons. Yes, and the weapon we're going to use is just a titanium wedge for wedginess at the bottom. I don't know if to do that way or that way. Uh, probably that way around, actually. So we can always adjust the height of it, can't we? We can just go up here and be all like, start there. Don't know where it's going to actually... Oh, no, that's bad. End it like up there, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't want. I don't want it to be too violent. And it doesn't break. Cool. Does not look a thing like whoa what. And for the top part of the claw, we will get our titanium again. Go for 20. Uh, this time we will try and attach it onto there. No, that looks incorrect. Incorrect. So we'll attach it onto there instead. Nope, that doesn't like it. Like so. Boom. And boom. So the claw. We'll do it in the closed position so we know where we're building it to. I'll assume that I know what I'm doing. 30 degrees. It's a good, it's a good degree. It's a good amount of degrees, 30 degrees. I'll use it for a few of my robots. Do another one, we'll do another 20 degrees this time. And we'll put the wedges on the end. We're using titanium. So we'll do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you put that on and suddenly you see it. That's nice, I like that. The bottom part, I'm not a fan of. I think I need just one more angle on the end of that. So I think I need another 20. I'm assuming that was 20 degrees. Yep. So put that on like that. And we'll go for the weapon again. Another titanium wedge. Titanium wedge. Like so. Okay. Yep. That looks a little bit... No, that's not on the wedge, is it? That looked the same to me. That does not look right to me, or does it? I don't know anymore. We're going to put that there first, and then we're going to put the wedge on. So should I still do it like that, or no, we'll do it like that. So the way this is going to work is... This is going to have a start of up there, and it'll end biting down. And this will start down, and it'll end up there, and it'll all happen on the same burst. So the same button press, it'll all do that. So hopefully I can put this in an AI. Be able to fight against WoWat. It's probably going to havoc the fuck out of everything, but whatever. Um, control the programming. Yes, so we need that one. Spacebar for now. We're going to go fire on you, and we're going to... Fire on you. Okay, we have that going on. Haha, <laughs> yes. So it doesn't have a... It just slowly creeps along the floor. It's coming to get you. This is why Adam Clark probably put that massive fuck-off wedge on the front of it, which is now what we're going to do. So we're going to need my anchor. Raise that up. Pop that. Dead in the middle. I don't know if that is dead in the middle because I can't see it. I'm assuming it is. Uh, get yourself an extras. We're going to go with aluminium for this because this looks quite light in the picture. And we're going to go for... Oh, fuck it. Oh, we'll go long. Oh, wait. No, that's attached to the base plate. Don't want that. 
Or do we actually? Because I've got component freedom on. That's not actually stopping me attaching stuff to the base plate. I don't know how legal that is in competitions, but I don't plan to enter this in any competitions unless I figure out how to enter into something like, what, Orc Wars or Robotal Wars or whatever they're called? I don't know. Uh, that looks too long to me, but at least you know what height the floor is, so we can start you a little bit further up. There we go. And, uh... I don't know, I, I don't know how to do what I'm about to do. Hang on. So I'm gonna pop... Uh, yeah, that's stupid. Um, I'm being stupid. Ignore me! How high is the chassis? About 20 centimeters? How high is the wedge? The wedge goes all the way up. And I don't want that doing that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have attached it to the base plate. We're just gonna straight up just put this in here. That's too high. So I'm just gonna pop that there with a thing on the top and then we're gonna do a 10 degree wedge actually nope I'm being stupid I'm gonna go ten and do a 10 degree wedge on here If you put that there, then go to your aluminium hundred on there. Yes, like that. And then it's going to be a little bit wonky. I accept that. Actually, can we just attach that to the base plate? Let me just try that again. Doesn't look like it's long enough, does it? We're gonna go for 120. The game's getting confused because it's already got something attached to the base plate there. Can we do that? We can do that. Let's see if it woe what's around. That looks like it. Um, it's not got a wedge on. They don't do triangles that shape. <laughs> that sounds stupid. They don't do it. <laughs> you can't get them in the game, so I'm gonna try and fudge it. What was it? 40 centimeters wide, wasn't it? So if I put that there and then do well, actually, it it, it tapers out, doesn't it? It's like a zoom. Wow, that was accurate. So if I actually put that on the end and that on the end, which is actually equivalent to a 60 centimeter extender. Like so. Then we go for a, a little bit of a degree going on. We're going to go 20. That looks too much to me. We'll go back, back to 10 again. Like that. How does that look? I mean, yes, it works. I can add the, um, yeah, that looks alright to me, that sod so it, it works, I don't care, you're all wrong. Put that there, this is going to look wonky, but hey, it's Robot Arena 2, it's limited that way. Going to go for some weapons, aluminium wedge, eh? Put that on there. That on there. That on there. Okay, yeah, so, so there's some creative choices coming to whoa what. But hey, there we go. Um, it's how you make it work, isn't it? So, uh, where can this go? One thing I hate about component freedom, it adds attachment points to batteries and that. I don't know how to get rid of that. So... We've got a whoa what? That actually looks like it functions. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, we're just gonna see if we can fill in this top bit here while the arm is down. Uh, just 45 degrees. That. I'm gonna add a short extender. So it doesn't look so stupid like. That works for me. 
four. I'm liking it. Motors, right. I'm guessing that the only motor I can fit in there is either one of these or one of these. You go for a drive. Can I fit that in there? Yes, and the wheels are actually exposed because Adam Clark is weird. Um, so how can I get the wheels to be exposed without exposing the motor? I'll try that. I'm going to try that. Uh, wheels, they look to me like hypnos. They're not really, but they work well as hypnos, I reckon. Is that exposing the wheels? Only some of the wheel. Right, I need a fat wheel. P-H-A-T. We can go for these, actually, and we can double them up. So, they're quite big wheels we've got going on here. And whoa, what? Uh, doesn't look like it had that originally, but I think we're going to have to cope with that for now. I'm not a fan of the paint job yet, but um, hey, there we go. Uh, so... I guess the next step is to actually test it with drive. See if I can actually drive it around. I was going to actually edit down this video to be one of the normal building videos I used to do, but I have a feeling this is going to be another I build a robot for 20 minutes video. I did not do that right. So, yeah, this is going to be just one of those videos with random music in the background that you're going to have to watch the entire duration of. Wow! Oh my goodness, okay, I actually really like WoWop. Um, wow. <laughs> you know when you think, this is gonna be a stupid video, I'm gonna end up making something retarded, and then you actually make functioning WoWop. Yeah, I'm, I, I have no idea either. I mean, the, the back arm doesn't function, it probably won't be able to self-right, but I think that's the least of my concerns. What weight class is it in? I didn't even look. God, it's gone to heavyweight. Crap. I was meant to keep it in middleweight. Um, it's probably all that titanium. If I could go back and change it all to aluminium, I would. I think some bot file editing's in order here. I think I can do this. Right, okay. Um, we're going to take a picture of Wowat. And I'm going to try and convert all that titanium to aluminium. I'm gonna just keep that one in the game just so I don't break it all. Right, okay, so we've just exported Woe What again. Ah! No, I forgot to change over my thing. Whoop! There we go. Um Woe What. There it is. Right, Notepad Plus Plus. Do you wanna reload it? Yes, I do. Right, so there should be a bunch of components in the bot file that are extended titanium. Perfect, and I should have some extenders aluminium as well. Uh, titanium S, extenders TS80. Uh, where are the aluminium ones, and how can I convert that? So that's obviously styles, wedge, titanium, 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 aluminium, extenders AS20. Right, so TI20, TI20, TS20. So if I go a search for extenders underscore T underscore S. Replace with A underscore S, and if I count actually, 16, replace, cool, did I replace all? Yep, there we go, and there's TI 45, I'm guessing that's AL 45? You can find an aluminium... Alu wedge, alu wedge, alu wedge, A S A S, A L ten. Yes. Yeah, so anyone that has an angle in it to T I forty five. So we're gonna go extenders T I, troll F replace with. Hang on. A L replace all those. Replace all those. All twenty six. That sounds about. Right, there's a lot of angles in it. Scratching my head. Uh, right, okay, so we've got al aluminium, 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 alt, alt, x is alt s. Did I just do that? 
tit. Right, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll redo that. Because I've got an extenders out somewhere now. Got 17 matches for out. So that was a uh, component extenders tit s. I'm trying to think what that would be. Um, there's a lot of out s's there. That would be in tight s. So would it be alu s then? That's just a guess. See if I can find one that looks like that. Out out al thirty. Al thirty a a al twenty. Wedge Titanium L20 Alt S. No, that's more Al. That was more Titanium. I'm trying to think what that component will be. Extender Aluminium or Titan would have been a Titanium Extender. Something that's weird. Um, Al10 Alu S. There we go. Found it. So it is Alu. So we're going to go and find every Alt. Replace with Alu. Replace all. All 17 were replaced. Do you want to see if this works? I have no idea if this works. Let's find out. It's going to break. So going to break. I'm going to keep it on this screen just so uh, if it does break, I don't, it's, it's, I'm not switching screens so much. You can all look at my desktop icons now and be like, wow, why doesn't he play that game? And I'll be like, because... That doesn't get views, because whenever I play a game, it's not this. Everyone's like, yo, where's Robot Wiener 2? Import. Whoa, what? Oh, my God, it loaded. Oh, my God, it changed everything to aluminium. And it's still a heavyweight for some reason. But it worked. Oh, my God. You can't see the smile on my face. But there is one. It's really big. And for some reason, it's now a heavyweight, even though it's... If I, but if I put one thing on there, it go like... Back to middleweight, there we go. Oh wow! So now it's a middleweight, does it work? <laughs> oh! Oh! Everything's backwards now, that's not good. Okay, now we're, we're working again. So we've got an aluminium now. <laughs> what? what? I did not know you could do that, that's good! So now, yeah, when I have... Yeah. I mean, the, the claw tips are still titanium, but I'm gonna keep that, because that looks cool. Ah! Whoa, what in all over you? Yeah, I'm gonna eat ya. I'm gonna make that claw start a little bit higher up because I think there are gonna be some fat robots that I can't get in there, so I'm just gonna make that start up there and end like right down there. And your end can be a little bit higher. Let me make it go straight. Yeah, that looks pretty violent. Um, I probably worry what wasn't that violent. It can probably change that burst. But I like it. It's for it's fallen over, so it's gonna do that in fight, innit? It's gonna do that in the battle. Almost certainly, right? Okay, we'll just change that end. We're gonna we're gonna go a bit lower. Just go down. Um not got enough batteries to last a full fight, but there we go. Might be able to lose some weight off the wheels and the armor. Give it like some shitty armor. Um, yeah, sod it, we'll go for the, the weight saving wheels. Actually, add them together, that's about 15 kilograms, isn't it, per wheel, if you have double. So let's go for one that's less than 15, but also thick. Ooh, Growler. That'll do. Growler's wheels are nice and thick, and they're light, that gives us, get rid of that, that gives us just enough room for a red battery. So we can have two more reds. We've got at and ah, there we go, we're still in middle white. Armor, don't erase paint job. Um, we've currently got aluminium DSA, so now we've got stronger aluminium. We could go for one mil titanium. Gives us a bit more weight to play with. So that means we can get... We can put that extender in the back there to just keep it look like it's grounded and got a little bit more weight for probably another battery maybe I don't know 
what else does Wowat have? Um, might be able to put the odd piece of aluminium in there and in there. But I think otherwise, it's mostly done. Um, is a, they, they have a, it has a little bit at the back that's a bit strange. I wonder if I can, cop, you know, honour that at all. Uh, well, I've already got that extender in the back, so if I go uh, 60, got the extenders in the back. If I do this, that could. So, I mean, it's not accurate to ro whoa what, but I don't, I, I've actually lost caring. Um, we'll, we'll put a support for the burst motor in there. We're going to go for the axle. We've only got a little bit of weight left. We'll probably do that. There we go. Why what? I've done it. Right, let's paint it a little bit better. So we're going to edge it out in like a light edge. Then I'm going to dirty these panels up. Like so, and the bottom. And then go into surface layer. Diamond plate. Because it's not diamond, it's just steel. And dirt layer. Everything. Quite a lot. And then back to the decals again. Hang on. I know what I'm doing, even though I don't. Uh, we're going to go for... Where's warning? Stripes. Shrink that down. Turn you around. I need to get back into skinning robots again, but that also crashes the game a lot, and I'm trying to minimise crashing, he says, building a burst motor powered. Whoa, what? But you can do quite good skinning in game if you're patient with what you're given. There you go. It looks bad, but. When you surface layer, dirt, crud, edge lines, danger edge. There you go. So now it looks just as bad, but dirty. And we have, whoa, well, what? Don't know what the best picture is of have to have of uh, whoa, well, what? To be fair, I'm gonna I'm gonna be actually putting some of it on my showcase. So I'm going to take those pictures now. Why not? Blue background. There we go. F11, 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 there we go, lots and lots of showcase pictures for people to criticise, there we go. Let's go play with it, Shredbots, DSL tournament, we're going to have a fight and then we'll stop the video. And I'll uh, see if I can do some sort of editing with it. Make it not 36 minutes long. But there we go. I enjoyed this. And you would have learned about bot file editing as well. Oh no, I'm against a fucking spinner. Okay, that worked better than I expected. Um, okay, I'm, uh, my chassis is already dying because I've got no armor. But I can woe what you. I am losing bits of Wowat everywhere. This is fantastic, I love it. Ow, okay, we do, we'll do a proper fight after this against the robot that Wowat might actually be able to sort out. Oh my god, I'm losing everything. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. It functioned! I mean, I flipped Vengeance up a few times. Right, okay, let's go to exhibition and we'll uh, put Woe What up against something else. Uh, we'll go for the. No, I hate that arena. Go for that one. Go for Woe What against. Uh, I've, I've AI'd my Chaos 2, so we'll see if. Uh, if Woe What can take on Chaos 2. Should be able to. I really hope I've recorded the audio for this. Otherwise, I'm going to freak out. Okay. <laughs> Chaos 2 has got power. Um, can you flip me back over my wheels, fam? Cheers. Thanks. 
Right, um, I'm gonna just turn around and try and face you. Well, what is long and a boy, long boy. I'm doing damage to Chaos too, but that's because he's a flipper and I've got some small claws on me. Come on, Chaos 2, let go. Back off. Let me just self right. If I can. I mean, I can kind of run this way up. Oh no! Oh yeah, oh no! Chaos 2 is violent. Oh, I'm going over the fence! 